Hello guys, it's Fred here from Pro Tennis Trader. Hope you're well. You're joining me at the Australian Open here between Mucheva and Pliskova. Now Mucheva has just taken the, the first set uh, with just the one break. So I'm going to place a lay trade at 1.41 and I'm going to place a back trade at 3.4. Now we haven't got great prices because uh, Mucheva was the underdog. So it's kind of more of a, a backing, a drifting favourite strategy uh, with this one. Stats-wise, uh, both players are looking very much on form. Serving's going well, very strong service holds. Uh, Pliskova, obviously number six seed, top player. So I'm very keen to back her in this second set. And there was just the one break um, that gave Mitchova the first set. So here we are at Juice in this first game of the second set. There was a bit of drama earlier. Uh, Pliskova was obviously a bit annoyed that she lost the, the first set, um, smashed a racket in the tunnel and received a court violation. So she actually started at love 15 down. But it looks like she's coming back here. Um, so all we need here is a service hold from Pliskova and then we're going to be in the green. Now one thing you'll notice, um, which is the same in all of these trading matches now, that the, the video stream is slightly delayed the score isn't, so we should be keeping an eye on the score rather than the actual video stream. But of course it's always useful to see the video stream to see how the points were won. So there we go, on the right hand side we've seen Pliskova has just taken this first game of the second set. On the video stream it's still being played out, but we'll just see how she won this point. So that's quite a straightforward first set, and we're £148 in profit, a bit more than that actually. So I'm going to hit net here and hedge out the lay side. This is to lock in some profit and of course reduce my liability. I'm going to leave the back trade open for the moment, and we'll see what happens. Now the price has just shifted a little bit, so we're not quite matched on that trade so let's just move it down to one actually we are match now yep so there's plenty of liquidity obviously it's a grand slam match there's always going to be lots of liquidity especially when there are big players involved so liability is now down to 309 pounds with 1247 on pliskova i just want to make sure this last 22 pounds is matched before play resumes so that's fine that's all matched so as you can see, we're at 15.40 here in the second game of the second set with Mucheva serving. And actually the score has just changed, so we've got this early break. So ideally, I did want Mucheva to hold so that we could have another go on the lay side to build up a bit more profit. But then having said that, obviously it's always nice to get that early break. So I'm going to jump on this early break. Prices aren't great. What have we got here? 2.16. So I'm going to throw a little bit more money on this backside just to capitalize on this early break and hopefully she can confirm it and if she can confirm the break then the plan will be basically to leave this backside open um, and hopefully Pliskova can just continue to hold her serves doesn't matter if much of her holds her serves as well as long as we retain that one break advantage okay so we're all matched on that now the price has jumped up to 2.3 Two, and that's because we've gone love 15. So hopefully Pliskova can uh, hold this. It's always nice for them to confirm the break. And then obviously you've got that one break buffer. So let's see how this game plays out. So this game isn't as straightforward as we would have liked it to be. It's been to juice a couple of times. Pliskova does look to have the upper hand. So hopefully she can hold this to confirm the break. But we're just going to wait for this game to be played out. If it does keep going to juice, um, then I will look to reduce my liability. Okay, so we've got advantage here now on Pliskova. So hopefully she can serve out to take this third game and confirm the break. And there we have it. Pliskova has held. I say it wasn't that straightforward. It did go to juice a few times. 
It was always Pliskova with the advantage, so it really did look like she did have the upper hand, so I didn't worry too much. But as I said, I, I would have reduced the liability had this keep happening if it kept on going to juice. So profit-wise, we're £473 in profit. The price has gone now under 2 on Pliskova. And so the plan now will just be to hold this trade open. Obviously, if anything changes, if Pliskova looks like she's going to get broken, then I'll reduce my liability. But say so the plan is now to leave this trade open and let it run and let that profit just mount up. So this second set has been a lot more straightforward than I thought it would be. And there we go, we've just got an ace giving us five love. So Pliskova has been holding very well and obviously got a couple of breaks on much of a serve. So therefore, obviously the price is going to be pretty much the same as we'd expect had she won the set already. So we've got 1.63. So if we have a look here at her starting price, yeah, it was around about 1.75. So we've actually got a, a bit better price. So this would be a good opportunity to hedge out. There's no advantage um, in waiting to the set end. So we'll hedge out at £653 profit. And i just make sure that does get matched. The prices are jumping around quite a bit. Um, but shouldn't be any problem getting that matched. Let's just wait a few moments. And there we go. It sometimes just takes a few moments for the order to get matched. And that's fine. So as you see there, we've got £653 on both players. So that's my trading done for this match. And quite straightforward, really. Now, I've just switched back to this match between Mitchova and Pliskova. Um, earlier on I took my profit at 5 love, it looked like Pliskova was easily going to take this uh, second set. There's obviously been a lot of drama and Muchva has come back and she's now actually at 6-5 to take the second set and the match. So you can see the huge drift there on price. So she's had two match points, it's now 40-30, maybe Pliskova can come back from this. Let's see, but yeah, huge dramas here in the Australian Open. So these situations are obviously quite rare where a player comes back from 5-love to 6-5 and now she's got two match points. She's got one more match point at 40-30. And actually there's a lesson to be learned there to hedge out. If you've got a 5-love um, advantage, the price isn't going to be that different if the player wins the set. So you've got 5-love, take the profit. Had I not done that, had I waited, obviously would have hedged out much earlier. And there we go, she's just taken this second set and the match. But I would have hedged out earlier, but obviously would have lost a lot of profit there. So yeah, quite incredible match this has been. But I took my profit early, so no harm done. But you've got to feel for Pliskova coming back from 5. So going from 5 love to losing that second set. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of when new videos are published. Now if you'd like to become a tennis trader yourself, then you can check out protennistrader.com where you can sign up to my free video course, An Introduction into Tennis Trading. So simply pop your email address in the box and you'll be sent details of how to enrol.